I think that's what it's called. I haven't seen it in a while, to be honest with you. Ah, uh, Haley, I'm only there for a day, um, you know, until we fly back to Toronto afterwards. And, um, yeah, I've got my jacket with me, but it's not a rain jacket. I packed more accordingly to, to be in Hawaii, so I only brought the one jacket, and that one was strictly for warmth. Um, but yeah, don't throw me down, Clark. Hey, from Montreal, what's shaking? Chevy Chase. I actually haven't watched that movie in a while. I got to catch up on that this, uh, this winter. That's my dad's favorite movie as well for the, uh, the Christmas holidays. So that's, uh, you know, is the grass still green in Ontario? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, it doesn't die. The grass doesn't die. It just goes dormant. Um, you know, as soon as you get that first layer of frost, um, it just kind of stops growing it, but it, it never dies just goes dormant. So if you don't have snow, she's pretty green. The only day we expect snow this week. Oh, great. Great. Coming back to that bullshit. I'm just joking. Warm with a nice wind. There we go. Landscape talk. You know, you can take the boy out of landscaping, but you can't take the landscaping out of the boy. It'll be a fun to watch with your family. Yeah, it'll be great. You know, my sister, dad, and I, we tend to watch it, um, but it's been a little while. Oh, yeah, shorts weather for sure, yeah. You got flat by tornadoes in Kentucky. Damn, I hope everybody's safe. Um, that's, that's tragic, though. Holy shit. Sorry to hear that. Your friend has a backyard decorated like Christmas vacation. That's awesome. <laughs> Negative 21 here in Calgary with wind chill. Holy fuck. Damn, that's cold. Kathy, yeah, that was very, very nice of Amy for sure. That's fantastic, you know. Hope you guys got your candles as well. That was great. For the community. We're st holy shit. State of emergency, holy fuck. Well, I hope you all stayed safe, you know, and you're all good. Very sorry to hear that. Um, that's brutal. Mother Nature is a motherfucker. California's getting slammed tomorrow. Holy shit, good luck. That's brutal. You know, hope you all stay safe. Make smart decisions. You know, fingers crossed for you guys. Stay safe. What time is the flight? 10.55 at night. So it's a, it's a lot. It's a late one. It's a late one for sure. Oh my God. Cooney's chilling. He's just chilling. Oh, Jessica, we're gonna do a thorough Thorough pack, for sure. 
pillow behind. Oh, that's a really good idea. Very smart, Carla. Oh, that's what I'm hoping. Oh, that actually feels so good. Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday. That chip was brutal, Georgia, yes, you got it. Arlene, hello, hello. Glad to hear it, <laughs> getting old. <laughs> Massage, that'd be great. Oh, I definitely will not bring those back. Don't you worry. That's not going to happen. That will not happen. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Oh, Sue. The tide pools were phenomenal. I loved it. I loved it. Haley, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Vic, I'm not breaking yet, I'm not breaking. It's probably just because I've been slouched over like that for so long. Rams won, there you go, there you go. Vic, yeah, no, I'm gonna do a thorough check to make sure that none of those fuckers come back with me for sure. Not a fan, not a fan. So are you a Leafs fan? Unfortunately I am. I'm so sleepy. Wake up! Hey, get your rest. Get your rest. It's important. Winnipeg won back to back. Great cup. It was a great game. Right on. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Belinda. Hello. Annabelle or cockroaches? Um. I definitely watch Annabelle again, then have to deal with cockroaches back home, for sure. Sue, good night. Hope you have a good sleep. We'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Should we do a shotgun? Should we do a shotgun? <laughs> yes, Im immediately yes. Immediately yes. Do you sleep well on flights? Um, you know, I can sleep here and there. I never sleep longer than usually like an hour, but I can like, you know, I'll be up for a bit and then I can fade out right like that. You want it? You got it. The other one, are you talking about the um, the thumb one? Comfortable socks. Oh yeah, absolutely. I've got it all equipped. I've got my AirPods ready. I've got my neck pillow ready. And I'm definitely gonna be dressing comfy. You betcha. Okay, I'll show you it and then I'll do one. right here but she don't fit she don't fit like at all it gets stuck right there but yeah she don't fit I don't know if I'd wear a thumb one though I 
I don't know. You love it? Hey, thank you, thank you. Get sized. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. You wear rings on your thumb. See, I don't know, like... I don't hate it. It just doesn't fit. Wrap plastic wrap around it. But then wouldn't it, like... That looks more like a pinky. That's one big ass pinky then. God damn. Put it in the dryer. I actually love the pinky one. I mean, like it's a little loose, like I said before. Like if I were to go like that, it would fly off my hand, but this one fits perfect. Yeah, that's a big ring. Look at that fucking thing. Pink earring is fire. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alicia! Anxiety ring on the thumb. If I like really like jam it on my thumb, it might fit. Oh! No. No. Try on the other thumb, it's even worse. Well, it's not even worse, it's the same, but. That's usually for the pinky. I can't even imagine, like you must have, like what? I mean, I see what you're saying. I mean, that makes sense, but I don't know. Maybe it was just because of the way, like the size of it, I just assumed it was for the thumb. But damn, you gotta have some big ass pinkies if you're doing that one. That's fucking nuts. I don't even like this wouldn't even fit. Uh, fuck, I don't even know if it'd fit on my grandpa's thumb. Or pinky. It definitely wouldn't fit on my grandpa's pinky, and he's got some fucking man hands, you know? WGA logo. Ooh, that would be cool. That would be cool. Very cool. It will fit different when you get. Why would it fit different when I get home? What do you mean? Hey, thank you for the rose. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Colder. Will that affect the metal, metal though? Carissa. Good one, good one. Stuff shrinks in the cold. I didn't think that that would affect the rings though. I mean, if so, then this pinky one might fit perfectly, but uh, my hand, I don't think my hand's gonna shrink. I, I, know, I, I know what, I saw the reference there. I know what you were talking about, but Naughty, naughty. Fingers swell in the heat. Fingers can get smaller and cold. They will a little, so this one might... This one's got some room for air. The pinky though, fuck, that one's gonna be loose. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Where would you guys even recommend like buying rings? Because I didn't like, I just kind of stumbled upon them and I'm just like, yo, I'm gonna get these. And uh, yeah, but I don't know. Liv, that's where I got them. That's actually where I got these ones, Nordstrom. Amazon jewelry shop, jewelry store, that's true. Put it on your toe, <laughs> oh, that would be fucking weird. <laughs> More traditional, see, I, I don't mind the traditional rings, you know? I don't need nothing flashy. I think I'm like a size six or seven, I don't know. I got skinny little fingers. 
Millie, hello, hello. You could read minds. I can size the ones you got at a jewelry store. Interesting. Try them on beforehand. Yeah, definitely. I definitely would do that for sure. How tall are you? I'm six foot. But like legit six foot, you know, not that like dating app six foot shit that you guys were talking about before. You can get the ring guards. Yeah, I remember you guys talking about that. I'm a six and a half. All right, thank you. Noted. Yeah, like short king, you know, I'm like five, four on a good day. You know? Would you wear a rose gold ring? Probably. Probably, yeah. Six foot disclaimer. Good answer, eh? Thank you. You can put it on your chain now if you want. Right next to the thing. That'll look kind of weird next to the compass though. Yeah, I'm 5'4 when it's cold outside, so I'm about to shrink when I go home. I'm gonna go from six foot to 5'4. Yeah, that's very true, I could do that. Kara, what did you just say? Fuck you. <laughs> you know what? That's a one minute penalty right there. Oh, she got in a, she got in a hay right before she hit the penalty box. <laughs> got the mute finger out. No, it's an inside joke. She knows what she said. <laughs> she, she knows. She knows, but it's an inside joke. It is, you got it. I know, I know Rachel, I know. <laughs> Kara, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's frozen blueberry. The key chain, I didn't bring my keys with me. My keys are at home, but I could do that as well. Um, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna do one. How are you? What are you doing? Just chillaxing, eh? Yes, sir. Chilling like a villain. Ah. Ah. Couldn't do it last night because of the chip. Gotta redeem myself. Amy, we're going for the 10. Oh yeah, guys, he's alive. He's just chillaxing. Not a Bud Light. Oh, always the Bud Lattes. Always. Here we go. Wait, we gotta back up here a little bit. All right. You ready? Wait, let's get this. We did go to Hanama Bay, yes. Here we go. What's in my pocket? 
my mask and gum. Okay, here we go. Spell cool. What'd you say? I won't do another one? I will do another one. The first one's always shit. Amy, I know that one wasn't a 10. It's okay, you don't have to come after me for that. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, no, that one wasn't good, but don't worry. First one's always rough. Give me like a couple minutes, I'll do another one. I'll redeem myself. I made the hole too large, you know? <coughs> Excuse me, up the nose, no. But don't worry. that huge knife yeah but like you know if you get it just right it's perfect it's just perfect Rena what do you mean by that <laughs> perfect I'm feeling generous <laughs> ooh it's starting to rain a little bit here. Bah. Guys, I'm missing volleyball so much lately. So much. And golf. <laughs> Volcanoes, that's a negative on this one. Liv, I love them both. Um, you know, I've, I've played a majority of indoor, but I definitely love my beach volleyball. It is so much fun. You know, just being like, it, it's awesome. You can just dive like crazy. The only thing that's a little bit more difficult is the, um, is spiking because it's a lot harder to jump in the sand, but it's, I definitely say beach volleyball is more fun to play, but when it comes down to hitting, indoor is what I prefer. Um. But yeah. Nothing ugh, nothing feels better than just a nice clean spike right down. Best feeling ever. It's like, woo! Let's go, baby! Still going down. Still goofing down so? Oh, golfing. Don't rub it in. Don't rub it in. I wish. But there still is the uh, the simulator back in the falls, which is actually extremely good. Um, my dad and I do it every now and then. So we'll see what happens over the holidays. Might try and get it booked for a day. Um, you know, go get around in there. But um, yeah, it'll be fun. You like driving the golf carts? So does my sister, actually. She loves to try and run me over with the golf carts because she does like she'll golf like for like maybe one or one or two holes but like barely she's not really into it but she loves chasing me down with that damn cart especially when she was younger too now not as much like you know she's matured a bit but like she used to chase me right down to ohio for golf oh wow awesome that's fantastic the beverage carts oh yeah the beer cart. That's awesome. Imagine the volleyball spot. <laughs> oh man. That's brutal. <laughs> oh fuck. Haley, you must have heard some shit because I had a couple friends who were, um, you know, she, they operated the beverage cart and, um, they took a lot of shit from the old men. A lot of shit. I was like, I was, some of the shit that she'd tell me that was said to her, I'm just like, holy fuck. Like, what the fuck? It's brutal. 
absolutely brutal. And made bank. There you go. Oh, I can imagine the money must have been fantastic, but yeah, that's uh, that's one of the things that you had to deal with, and like that's never fun. Oh yeah, Amy, I I believe it for sure. Well, I bet you've got a lot of stories, Michelle. We are still in Hawaii. You got it. All right, it's go time. Good. Why don't you come do one with me? You've been summoned. Give me five All right. Coon's gonna join me on the next one. He said, "Give me five minutes." We're getting them in. Oh, best friend. <laughs> um, cherry cola kisses. You bet it. I mean, you bet. You betcha. Guys, I was so out of it this morning from the... I don't know if it was that chip or what, but like something I couldn't... My like even Kuhn, he said it himself, like our brains were fogged the fuck up this morning. It was bad. Do you have any pics of your pets? Oh my god. Jessica, what I posted on my story from what my mom posted on Instagram, and I think she might have put it on TikTok as well. I cracked up when she had all those hats on the end. <laughs> Oh, it was funny shit. It was funny shit. I'll definitely get some pictures and I'll post them on my next live. I'll pull them up. The mongoose. Oh yeah, fuck. I thought the cat was a mongoose when I was... <laughs> that was brutal. Hello. Hello. I'll get changed and come out. Okay. Oh, it's on the fan page. Awesome. All right, you ready? This one will be better. I didn't spill any that time. Oh yeah, I didn't empty my pockets. That's just the usual thing. Amy, thank you. That's what we were shooting for. Nice jeans, thank you. I love me some American Eagle jeans, you know? Still slow. Okay, Haley, if you, I, I'm not saying you're wrong by any means. I'm not the quickest shock hunter, but if you would have seen me like a month or a month closer to two months ago, it was brutal. I never, like I, I'm still a little bit of a rookie to it, you know? But um, a little bit of training, you know, put it in the work and uh, I will get there, okay? That I like Hanama Bay, Hanama Bay. I loved it. I loved it. It was so beautiful down there. Actually, I'll bring up a picture from it. It's okay. You can rip on me. I can take it. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Mm. Okay, let me just see if I can find it here. I've taken so many pictures while we're being here. This could take a second. Um, 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 
No, that's still from the hike. This might be part of it. Yeah, so that's like the overview. That's like one of the top pictures. I didn't cut, like, ah. Oh. See the thing with this is like, it zooms at the fuck in. You don't get the full picture and it blurs it a bit, but it was still great. Um, you know, we got different angles a bit here. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Come on now. Uh... Why is it, it won't sync it for some reason. What is going on? Come on now. Stop playing with me. Oh, there we go. That's another one. Oh my God, you don't even get the fuck. Adopt a dog, that would be awesome. That'd be awesome. Try and get another one. That's a better one there. Uh, Rebel, I did have the GoPro with me, absolutely. It was great! Um, no. Most of the beaches are not black. It's a negative. The temperature, it's like, on average, it's anywhere between 24 and 30 degrees. So it's still pretty warm and it's like the winter here right now. So um, we did not go to Pearl Harbor. No, we did not do that. Like we've seen it, but we didn't do like the tour or anything like that. As cool as it would have been, um, you know, there was a lot of other things that we wanted to do um, and we just never had the time to do so. Have you seen the movie? I believe so, but it was it was a while ago. It was a while ago. <sighs> Haley, I am, uh, I am, but I'm not. You know, it's one of those. I am, but I'm not. Amanda, tomorrow we are trying to go to that one ranch to do the ATV excursion as well as zip line. And then Wednesday is pretty much, you know, just get everything in order, pack up and get ready for a flight because we leave Wednesday night. So <sighs> Becca, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and that, that day it wasn't like the weather was absolutely awful. It was pissing rain all day. I'm pretty sure that was when it actually started to flood down in Waikiki. Um, we caught a lot of rain that day, but yeah. Always next time, exactly. Amanda, really looking forward to that, absolutely. Okay, Mask, we were, that was in the plans originally, but weather kind of shut that one down. Um, you know, it was very, very iffy, and we didn't want to have to spend all of that money because it wouldn't have been too cheap to do so. Um, you know, between renting the car, um, a hotel for the couple nights, and then whatever we planned on doing, um, we didn't want to, you know, show up there and just be rained out so we decided to play it safe and there is plenty of things to do around oahu that we didn't get to do yet which you know we capitalized on since we didn't go to Kauai, and um yeah you know it still worked out but 
you know, we did come here in the winter. It is the wet season. Um, so, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. You know, I've still thoroughly enjoyed my time here. We've had a lot of fun. Um, but next time for sure. We got some cigars from Kauai though. Some Cubans. Still got two of those bad boys left. Oh, hello! Uh, Good morning! Could you grab me one as well, please? I already did it for Oh, thank you. Haley, chow chow, enjoy your studying. Do you notice a difference in your body now that you're not landscaping? Absolutely. Um, you know what, but I've been enjoying myself too much. I'm not really concerned with that right now, but when we get back home, it's definitely back to grind time. Um, but it's been, uh, it's been a great ride. Um, beach woman abs, I believe. So I'm going to double check with my dad tomorrow as he works at the border, but I'm pretty confident. Have a nice little lay down. <sighs> yeah, we will be able to take them on the plane, yeah. Wine and grind, baby, wine and dine. We're getting back to those when we get home, too. <laughs> Look at who it is. Look at who it is. It's Baby Blue. I'm here. You're beat, eh? Oh, dude. Dude, it's you Stephanie. got a little... Stephanie, thank you very much. appreciate that. Uh, what? You got a little bit of muzzy going on right now. Honestly, yeah. it doesn't look bad, though. I'm in a bit of a drought. But it doesn't look bad. <laughs> I'm in a drought, <laughs> I'm in a drought. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> I need to get the fuck out of the line. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking making me. Your dad works at the border question. What if I have a huge ink blot on my passport? Um, I'll get back to you on that one. I'm not entirely sure the answer to that. Um, but I'll ask him for you. Uh, Kimberly, that will be coming out in her Y video, the chip challenge. Too. You're welcome. You're from Alaska. <clears throat> Two bass. Hello, hello. How you doing? Coming in late. Better late than never, you know? Damn it, Alex. You fucking... <laughs> Your face moisturized from all the milk. <laughs> I've never drank milk so quick in my life. Dude, I never drink milk. Not a big milk guy. Mm -mm. Oh god. Cheers, brother. Mm -hmm. Effort was there though. The effort was there. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. 
Was it? Did I spell? Fuck, I didn't even realize. I'm sorry! <laughs> Under... Had people cross under J Treaty without passport. Okay. I don't know what J Treaty is, but A for effort. Thank you. That's like getting a participation medal right there. Kind of hurts. Kind of hurts a little bit. Penny. Hello, hello. <laughs> hey Alicia, thank you. Oh fuck. <sighs> Without dark okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Will merch arrive before Christmas? Depends um, on your location. It de yeah, it depends on your location. Um because we know <laughs> all right fair enough thank you i appreciate that though thank you thank you oh kara you've been silent for a little while welcome back welcome back this says mine should be here thursday yeah guys as i said before when it arrives we'd love to see your pictures on the facebook group tiktoks anything Whatever you're comfortable with, share it out to the group. We'd love to see it. Um, just as you guys did with the first sweaters, the mugs, everything. You guys were great. You know, we love seeing you guys wearing it, wrapping it. It's a, it's a great, great feeling for sure. You can just go lay down if you want. Oh, no, I'm good. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Just chilling. Just kind of vibing. Oh, fuck. It's only 8.30, eh? Yeah, it's only... Yeah. I know. Fuck. I know. Stressful day, though. Is your name, okay, I'm sorry if I get this wrong. Is your name Amara or is it Mara? Amara. Amara, Amara. Oh yeah, that sounds, yeah, that sounds better. But yeah, absolutely. You know, we appreciate the support <clears throat> regardless of such, whether it's just moral or anything, we appreciate you all. You guys are fantastic and we couldn't ask for anything more. We did get a COVID test, yeah, and we got, we came back negative, so we're good to go. Thank fucking God. <laughs> Sherry, sleep well. Hope you have a good night. Peace out. We'll see you tomorrow, probably. Ciao, ciao. Amara. Uh, I gotcha. Okay. I gotcha. Yeah, Kara's actually smashing it out of the park, you know. Per we appreciate usual. that. Yeah, and Kara, Kara Grinds, she's she's great. Much love, Kara. <laughs> she is. She's grinding. Kara's work ethic is also through the roof. She doesn't... Anything for you, Beyonce. <laughs> Kids are not well, but both negative. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear that. Hopefully they get well soon.
But they ain't seen us together or the way. Carol, California goes back to masks indoors again on Wednesday. Uh, Debbie, we've had to deal with that for the last two years. I'm ready for it to be fucking done. I'm sick of masks. We've never had a break from that. Becca, um, I received a ton of emails and um, we haven't selected. What I'm probably going to do is spend the time while we're on the flight going through and responding to everybody. And then I have kind of like just a secondary conversation lined up for those who we believe would be a good fit. So if you know of somebody, just have them email to justin at wegoalong.com. Progress, baby. Just wait until you see what we've got coming up in the, in the future. We've got some big plans, guys, and it's gonna be fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's not mandatory anymore where I'm from. I wish. I wish too. You know, as long as it's been, you st I still find myself forgetting my mask every now and then, and it's such a piss off. But, you know, it is what it is. Fuck. Living in the middle of nowhere means no masks, no shutdowns. Aren't you? <clears throat> Excuse me. Aren't you lucky? No masks in Bama. Mm -hmm. That'll be a nice break if it stays up for when we're there. Callie, thank you very much. I'm hoping it sticks out for a little bit longer here. You know, I love having a tan. It sucks losing it all, absolutely. But you'll never catch me in a tanning bed because those things sketch me the fuck out. Fuck that. Can't do it. But it's fine. It is what it is. Enjoying it while it lasts. <laughs> Sorry, Bama. No masks in Nashville. COVID better not sewer our damn Nashville plans either. Holy fuck. Yeah. That's just a whole other thing to worry about. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even gonna think about it until like, can't. if until something surfaces, yeah, I'm not even gonna think about it. So I, I heard Ontario is supposed to be making an announcement in the next like few weeks about new restrictions and shit. So if that includes travel, then like... I'm gonna be so upset. It's all right, we'll still find something. No, we'll still make it work. You guys know we will make something out of it, but it's still like, I, fuck. Dying on my phone, wishing I was somewhere I could be alone. <laughs> Sherry, I thought you went to bed. <laughs> Get your back. Breaking up is easier in the nineties. This is a sip, right though. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm uh. <clears throat> I'm not even gonna speak on that one. Yeah, it's not sitting at the house. I'm dying on my phone, wishing I was somewhere I could be alone. Something that always reminds me. Most commonly, that doesn't happen, I'm going to bed. Alexander. 
Am I in trouble? What did I do? What did I say? Oi, oi, oi. What up? There's a tequila bar. <laughs> oh, fuck. I just like how it sounds. You see, whenever I hear that, I'm usually thinking I'm in shit. Hey, Amara, it's all right, you know? Maybe some other time. SOS, I'm not sure what you said, but much love. Is Jax your middle name? No. <clears throat> Jax McClary is my last name. It's just hyphenated. I didn't want to get rid of Jax because, you know, I'm one of the last few Jaxes in my bloodline. So I'm like, don't want to get rid of it. But I just um, hyphenated my name mm -hmm. and took on my dad's last name as well. So I got a long last name. My middle name is Stuart. Like Stuart Little. But it came after my uncle. My uncle's name is Stuart. Ooh. Stuart. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> the best food you've had in Hawaii? I hate to say it. I but honestly, the spin dip yeah. from, from <laughs> Yard House. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even gonna lie. The spin dip from Yard House is the best spin dip I've ever had in my life, and we fucking crushed that shit like three <laughs> nights in a row. So, Kevin, what about you? What's your best food you've had in Hawaii? Mm. I don't know, man. That poke bowl, like, or the poke bowl I had on the first day was pretty fucking good. Yeah. Also, the sp yeah, the spin, <laughs> the spin dip was good. Also, just anything from the, the yard house, bro. Like, oh, that yeah, that food dude, was like, so that good, was man. Tight. It was good. Uh, spin dip is spinach dip. Boy, I think it's, it's like a huge, focus. like, Cana I think it's more of a Canadian. What, spinach like, dip? Well, spinach and artichoke dip, I feel like, is more... I yeah, I hate I hate when they add the artichoke though. I mean, like it's not like a game changer. I'll yeah. still get it, but like I prefer just like a straight up spin dip. <laughs> so I think the fucking chicken and rice I had from Cheesecake Factory is up there too. Oh yeah, yeah. actually that pasta bowl from Cheesecake Factory was so good. Yeah. Spin dip is essentially it's spinach in like a four cheese blend or something like that. I think it's like it's a four cheese blend. Spinach um, makes it sound hard like healthy, but it's fucking not. No, it's, it's really not. not. <laughs> but it's delicious. Holy fuck, it's so good. I don't know if it's Greek or not. All I know is it's fucking tasty. Yard House does have really mm. good food. Absolutely. Jersey Mike subs. <laughs> Oh yeah, holy fuck, Jersey Mike's hits different. Oh. But like, we have like our own version. Yeah. We got Robomart. <laughs> Robomart's pretty damn close. Robomart is actually fucking bomb. I'm gonna have to go there when we're back. Like we have to hit yeah, it up. Yeah, we have to go. We have to hit it up. Cause like, there ain't, there's no more Robomarts except for in Fort Erie, as far as I know. And that's not no yeah. chain. You look like you like cuddling. You know, I love a good cuddle. I love a good cuddle. Did you order Bud Light at Yard House? No, we didn't have any. We had like this Waikiki Craft Light or something like that. It was a yeah. local brew, but it was actually pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it was decent. Like, cause we asked, what's your like closest thing to Bud Light? And he was like, he recommended that. And like, it had a bit of like a more fruity taste to it a little bit. That's the best way I could yeah. describe it, but it was, it was super good.
It was really good. Yeah, Rachel, who doesn't love a good cuddle, you know? Mm -hmm. Alicia. I might be back to a Vancouver thing while uh, Kung goes out for his coffee and walk or what? might have to hop on and be like, leave Kuhn's live on Twitter and <laughs> hop on in a little cuddle session bed, you know? It's so great to see your shoulder. Hashtag oh. boycott Kuhn. <coughs> yeah, unfollow. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Just do, do it. it. Do it. But... Yeah, dude, honestly, like, going back to Vancouver, it's going to be refreshing. refreshing. I honestly, I love Vancouver, man. Every time we I go back too. there, it feels like we're home in a sense. It's yeah. like, it, it's, it's very like comforting. Home. It's our home away from it's, home. It's our home away from home. It's like, don't get us wrong. Hawaii's been sick, but it's oh, like after it. two and a half weeks, like, you just kind of adapt. The lifestyle here is just so laid back. Yeah. Which just very isn't laid back. my thing, you know? Yeah, even for me, like, even, it's like, it's it, almost, I, it's... It's I'm a laid back <laughs> person, but it's almost a little too laid back. Like, we've loved it. We've had a fantastic time. We've had fantastic hosts. But, you know, going back to Canada is definitely going to feel really good. Especially Vancouver and then back home. It's going to feel nice. Yeah. It'll be refreshing. And it's just like, I don't know, when we're here... Apart from merch, which we knew was kind of like a stretch of just yeah. getting everything ready, mm -hmm. you just don't, like, dude, you just don't feel... It's it's a different kind of vibe. Environment. Yeah. Like, it's like... It's very different. Vancouver. It's, it's great. You, yeah. Vancouver, you have that fast-paced environment to, like, get you going and put you in the mix, but then you can also go... And chill. And chill. You get a little bit of everything. Do you have a lot of unboxing to do when you get home? I don't know. I might. I might. I honestly don't know though. I really don't know. Mm. Fuck, you might even have an unboxing to do. Yeah, I got a call from the post office. Apparently I fucked up a bit. <laughs> Why? Because I didn't know that it like shit returns after a oh, while. Oh yeah. No, fair enough. So. Um, Debbie, to answer your question, it, like, Vancouver is, a, like, it's a busy city, um, but in the same sense, like, it's a different feel, like, you still, mm. f like, it doesn't feel like when you're in Toronto. No. Like, Toronto is, like, it's a very different vibe. It just, Toronto just feels really congested. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, like, it just, very I don't congested. know, like, that's just yeah. the only way I can describe it, but Hawaii's been sick, it's just when you're here... I, I don't think I could do longer than two and a half weeks. No. Just based on my, like, psyche and what I need, I feel, to, like, operate best, Hawaii is not. Mind you, the content we got is going to make it worth it. But, yeah. A lot of great memories, too. Um, Alicia, yeah, I've got my mom registered under it as well, so she can pick up. And, uh, yeah. What's your definition of a dam? Um, I usually see dams in a lake. Um, that's typically where you'll see a mm -hmm. dam or a river, but. Like, I don't think I've ever slept in more the last two or three No, days. that's very true, actually. I've never yeah. slept in like this. Yeah. Mind you, I feel like I needed it, but I also, I don't like it. Yeah. And that shit fucked us up. That shit fucked us up. No, I have, it's nothing to do with the sand. I, I, <laughs> I, it's Hawaii's beautiful. It's just, I don't know. It's just not somewhere I'd <laughs> go for longer than a week again. <laughs> and like, we've done a lot. We've done a lot while we've been here. <clears throat> mm. 
Yeah, like I think yesterday was the first time we didn't bring the camera out anywhere. It was, yeah. Yesterday was the first time we did nothing with that. And it was a great day, you know, we had some good quality time out on the boat with Captain Doug being out in the sandbar again and then we came back, played some horseshoes. Yeah, all around it was a good day except for when we ate that fucking chip. Fuck. I'm glad we did it at night though and not during the day because if I had to deal with that for the day, oh my god, mm -hmm. that would have sucked. Have you seen White Lotus? I have not. Rena, we like we can chill, but it's just like that's just not like you know we like like personally, and I know Kuhn's the same way. We feel better mentally and just all around when we're doing shit. Like I have to keep myself yeah. busy, as so does Kuhn. He needs to keep going, mm -hmm. and it's just it's more of a mental thing. It's like we can chill, and I have no problem with chilling. But like that's when I start mm -hmm. to like just like the mindset kind of starts to change when when i keep myself busy that's when i like mm -hmm. excel that's when i excel and especially in this type of space like if we really want to make this work we just have to understand that there isn't really an off switch yeah it's good to take breaks here or there but you really can't you got to put in the work before you have the time to chill you know because you, you got to put yeah. in the work and especially when you're in the building phase i mean you're constantly building but it's like we're really in the we're, building yeah. phase it's still very <clears throat> early and you gotta you gotta keep busy you gotta keep going yeah. at it and especially just because the risk is still so high exactly because it's like we're not really like solidified because we just keep reinvesting in new projects or like oh we can afford to bring one person on to help with this to try and make it better so it's just when we're in that moment it's kind of tough to just sit there yeah Cause like when you're just chilling, you're just thinking about all these things that you could be doing or what everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. And they're not like, you know, if you want to get to where you want to be, you're not going to get there by just sitting on the couch. No. You got to put in the work. <clears throat> and that's, that's what, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's the competitive side in us, but it's like, I am not going to be the one to get outworked, you know, like we, mm -hmm. we're going to put in the work. Two weeks. Yeah, right now that's fair. Um, Becca, I don't know if it's been that much, but like we have grown it a bit. The half moon had a great spike. I gained about, I think 14,000 on that account in the last three days, which is great. Great spike for the, mm. uh, the backup account. Um, and you know, it, <coughs> it, it's been great. Um, but I, I've always said it, like I'd rather, a a, a slower a slower growth rather than all at once because you can build more character that way you learn how to deal with things differently and you know i wouldn't really i'm not i'm happy with where we're going it's been great but definitely not satisfied mm -hmm. as soon as you're satisfied you get comfortable and you know i spoke on it the other night you got to keep expanding you got to keep you got to grow you got to keep going out of your comfort zone because that's when the most progression comes but Rachel, it did. It did. That video popped again, which was good shit, but... Incomplacent, exactly. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <coughs> Holy shit. They're just slipping out. I'm sorry. Excuse me again. And I feel like it makes a difference. I know we've sort of talked on it <clears throat> before, like once or twice, but like, I don't think you'll ever do, like take money from a brand to promote a product if it doesn't make sense. No, exactly. Cause I think like, I know from personal and probably most of them, I, I just ignore and don't even tell you. Mm -hmm. Like just bullshit brands on TikTok reaching out, offering like, three thousand dollars for like 15 videos exactly like and we're not just, about that like to make a quick buck is just not we're not in it for the quick no. buck you know we're trying to build something here and we've done a great job at doing so mm -hmm. um the community itself what we've been doing has already grown a tremendous amount since when we've started which is awesome mm -hmm. and you know we're on the right path like 
it's been going good. And <coughs> yeah. Pedal to the metal. Michelle, hello. Rena, absolutely. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. 